Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't posted a video in a while. I don't know if anybody missed me or not, hope so. But it's been really hectic lately and a lot of things have happened since I last posted. So let me start off. I am my I am in my last final semester of nursing school. So that's the biggest thing. So I'm in my fifth semester. So um we just kicked in the gear and of course I'm preparing to graduate. So that's been big. Also, I started my first nursing job. So yeah, as um as some of you already know, I'm already an LPN, so I'm actually accepted a position at a long-term care facility so of course I was a new um, a new nurse I just really got you know kicked in the gear and actually learning my job so that's been pretty hectic um, yeah so other than that I'm just trying to get organized and get my life together so so I have my notebook organized as well as my planner I got most of the um, dates for like clinical and all of that that I have for this semester already in my planner. I don't have my final schedule yet, but we're working on that. So I, I can show you what I have so far. So things to expect, uh, at least for my school, for the final semester, we have lots of, well, first we have class once a week. Yes. Uh, it's from 9 to 1130. So we only have one class day and really we're taking tests <laughs> every class they were taking tests um then we have preceptor uh preceptor shift and um, that's when you of course shadow one nurse you're side by side with one nurse and you're actually doing a lot more hands-on stuff so we have that when you have 132 hours of preceptor shift this semester so i mean that's what 11 12 hour shifts so i have a lot of preceptor shifts then we have our leadership days and those are days when we um link up with the underclassmen i think they're second semester students and we go to their clinical and help them out then we have observation days um observation days are when we go to like surgery or and endoscopy something like that where we're pretty much observing and then I flat needs we have I think one ICU day so we have a 12-hour shift in ICU so that should that'll be fun we went to ICU last semester but it wasn't for 12 hours so hopefully we get to learn even more from being in ICU so let me get into my organization for this semester stay tuned all right so this is my notebook that I'm using this is my primary class notebook so the first tab i have is calendar there i put my weekly um schedule that i make every single week and i post specific assignments that i need to do specific days and i put my reminders like okay this is what's due this coming week so i have it up until february 1st and then i just have blank pages i'm just going to fill in as i go along so that's my um, weekly calendar. Then I have our course calendar, which our instructors made for us. And that have pretty much due dates and activities for us to know throughout the semester. So I have that. Next, I have my ATI calendar. A lot of nursing students, um, a lot of programs use ATI. I'm sure you've heard of it before if you're into nursing. So we have a specific um, ATI uh, calendar with due dates. So that's how I just kind of keep track of everything. Um, the next tab is my syllabus for our course. Um, so I kind of put that in there just so I can quickly reference. It has a whole entire syllabus, so I won't flip through that. Um, then I have an ATI tab because we do a lot of ATI um, so it has a specific tab and this is what's due Tuesday that's what this little tab say um, so I just keep up with that uh, a lot of re remediation work for the test that we do for ATI now I put a preceptor tab just in case but I have a whole nother binder for preceptor which 
I haven't really fully got that um, organized yet because I've only done one preceptorship. And I have the same planner from last semester. So, January is almost over, but this is just what my January did look like. So, for the purple highlights are the days I work because I am still working. My yellow is my preceptor shifts. So I try not to schedule more than two a week. Um, so I don't, you know, burn out from doing preceptor working and then, you know, mommying and do all the other things that I have to do. Um, appointments, I put those, you know, like doctor's appointments and things like that. I put that in this, um, what do you call this? Like this pinkish coral color. And then the class, like I said, it's only on Tuesday. So I put that in this pink. So this is mine for February. So this just kind of give you a glance at what I'll be doing for February. Of course, class every week, like I said. Then those two pre preceptor shifts um, every week. So I should be done with preceptor by the end of February, if not beginning of March. I have one shift that I need to sign up for. Um, spring break. I can't wait till that. And then April. Um, and then here's May. Big graduation date. And we have our pinning ceremony the day before graduation. That is pretty much my calendar. Um, and I'm just, of course, filling in as I go along. And this is my pen bag. I don't know if I showed you all what I usually carry in this, but I'll just go uh, make a quick little rundown of what I always carry in my bag. All right, so this is everything. I keep um, different sticky tabs, so I tab off pages. Um, and then I have regular sticky notes. Of course, I have a selection of highlighters. Um, I keep at least a couple of pencils and then black pens, of course, to sign things. These are all my section of colored pens. I always write my note in colors. It's just more visually appear, uh, appealing to me. I don't like looking at just plain black notes, so I always write in color. And then some more colored pens, and I always keep a Sharpie. And here's my little mini stapler. It comes in handy when I'm out and about or if I'm just at my desk and need to staple something. So I always carry that in my bag. This bag goes to class with me every single week, so these are my supplies. So yeah, that's that. Um, I was, like I said, it's been really, really busy. I'm still trying to get my life together. Uh, I'm, I promise I'm going to try to upload more frequently. Just tell me what you want to see in the comment section. Um, just stay tuned for more, uh, for more content. Um, uh, I can't even talk for more content. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.